Hello, peaches. Welcome back to another episode. I know my makeup's kind of heavy today. It's actually because I'm filming this on New Year's Eve. Um, we're going to be throwing a New Year's Eve party. So just a little small gathering, actually, because everyone's getting that little cheeky Omnicrons. I'm avoiding it so far like the Matrix. But um, I want to wish you guys a very, very happy New Year. Happy 2022. And we are going to be going into 2022 by celebrating these two little chitters' birthdays because Forrest has zero days left till he ages up. And Briar also has zero days left until she ages up. So I think we're going to throw a little toddler birthday party today. And we'll be aging up Forrest first because he was the twin who aged up first. Also, I checked and Lily has two days left until she ages up. So I think we'll age her up next episode as well. She did do the aptitude test last episode. So... I don't know. I'm kind of feeling like maybe, maybe we'll send her to university, but I don't want to control her at university. I just want to send her to university. So I don't know if I can do that, but I will be trying that next time. We're also going to be joining Robin in work today because I need to get five cases under my belt. And Luke is going to be continuing his schedule in class. He's doing three credits this term. Yeah, he's doing a really good job so far. I'm very impressed. So we will join Robin for work and then we will throw the toddler birthday party. She finishes at five, so it's not as late as she was before. She's not finishing at six. So hopefully I'm not going to miss the birthdays. I would have liked to stay at home with them today to just try and get their skills up a little bit more. Forrest is on three and then straight twos and Briar is on three, four, three, two, two. She has gained skills a little bit faster. I've been doing flashcards and stuff with them both, but I think because she's been playing with the dollhouse more, her imagination's gone up a little bit faster. And both of them have good communication, mainly from actually talking to speckles which is very cute so i'm gonna get robin up and showered so i can have a productive day at work you are gonna be cooking for us is it luke oh i should have got my husband's name oh my gosh and i feel like because he's playful he would cook something playful for breakfast something fun like spooky cookies you know what why not it's not even anywhere near spooky day no it is near spooky day wait a minute but when is spooky day has it been and gone is it even a thing? Do I have spooky day? I'm feeling like we might have to add spooky day to the calendar. Maybe it's been and gone. I'm going to get Lily. I wanted her to make some friends. So I'm going to get her to make some friends. Maybe some people that she can end up going to university with would be quite cool. And yes, my husband is called Luke. I thankfully did not forget my husband's name, which would have been super embarrassing because we're on like episode 20, I think now of Peach. We're getting very, very close to uh, Green Gen, but I do want to get Robin a little bit further in her career. It's the only thing left for me to do. The only thing left for me to do is reach level 10 and I'm on level eight, so I'm doing a pretty good job, but I am going to be focusing purely on cases and I'm going to be trying to fly through them. Oh, and you took so long to make those spooky cookies that I'm going to work hungry. I feel like it's been ages since I've come to work with you. Sorry about that, Robin. We had babies. Okay, life kind of kind of got in the way for me a little bit there. But let's go get you a case assignment. And then honestly, I'm going to have to get you some food as well. You're also a bit stinky. It's, oh, it's all going a bit wrong already. I'm trying to be speeding through this. I don't know why blue milk is so much more expensive. Oh, green milk? Then everything else is free, but you have to pay for your milk. Don't know why green milk is $30, but we're going to find out. And it's been a while since I've come in. We've still got Entrepreneur Xavier there. We've got Jamie. Jamie's still working here as well. I can't see Amy. Wait a minute. Why are you sat there? I am um, captain. Surely that's my seat now, Mrs. You're just an officer. Lynn, out the way, Lynn. That's my seat now. And I've got interrogate the suspect straight away. Am I still bugged? I feel like my Pilly's career is totally bugged. <gasps> no, there's nothing in there. Okay, this is good. Okay, time to find out why green milk is so important. I mean, it is the next gen, so maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's because green milk is next gen. Disappointing drink. I just paid $30 to be disappointed. Okay, why is it letting me add clues when I don't have any? This is worrying. It's because I have all of this in my inventory, probably. And look, APB available, but there isn't an APB available. I still have the bug, guys. I can't believe after all this time, I still have it. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to fix this. What about if I get rid of all of the clues that I have? That can't be sold. I can't do it. Oh, well, I'll do the crime scene anyway, but I'm not gonna be able to do the five cases. As usual, the detective career has bugged. It is notoriously buggy. Oh, it sucks because I like going to the crime scenes and like there's a body on the floor here. You know, Jamie Bailey has died or Jamie, but I can't do any policing. There's not even like stuff sprayed on the ground or anything. It's so sad. <gasps> Interestingly, though, these are the Aquinos. So I am actually kind of low-key related to you guys. And they came from a nice house. 
They came from wealth. Zach came from wealth. Good to know. And I am getting a last exception. Oh, it's so sad. I want to just do my EPV and go arrest some folks. I'm good at that. I can do that. I'm going to try as a last ditch effort. There is like a detective debug. Debug interrogate suspect event. Does that do anything? Nope. <laughs> a debug apprehend suspect event. Nope. I just keep getting more. Please stop giving me clues. I have so many clues. It's kind of wild at this point just how many clues I have. Long sleeve shirt, young adult, male, black hair, gloomy. Young adult, but also a teenager. Also has trousers on, also self assured, also gray hair, also short sleeve skirt, also a female. Who is this person? How do they have so much? I'm not going to be able to complete the case. This is what's so frustrating. Like, I just want to interview on suspect. <gasps> I can interrogate somebody. They are locked up in the cell downstairs, but I'm going to go for it. I don't understand how I've managed this without an APB, but I'm going to go for it anyway. I don't know what evidence I have on you, Anika. This is a sham arrest. Genuinely, this is pure nonsense. You appear calm. You should do. I got nothing on you other than the evidence of 10 years of clues. Something's going to stick, okay? Something's got to stick. Sorry, kids. I have to stay late and get this case done. If this doesn't work... I'm just going to have to cheat it because it's broken. Look how nervous she is. She's like, none of these people look like me. I'm like, I'm not even wearing slacks. I'm not even male. And Robin's like, I don't care. I've been doing this so long. I'll find a way to make it stick. You either agree with me and get two years or I'll give you 10. I need this promotion, Anika. You don't understand. The suspect appears to be innocent and can be released. <laughs> After all that... After all that, it's not even them. And I've got no suspects to interrogate. No one. And I can't find any because I can't issue an APB. So we're in catch 22. <gasps> oh my gosh, I can issue an APB. I don't know why that suddenly occurred. Maybe because Anika was just stuck there this whole time. But it's happening. I think when I did the forced cheat thing, I forced a suspect to appear. Oh my gosh, it's worked. But... How? How am I supposed to find a suspect that matches this? What? It could be any of them. Okay, I'm just going to go for young adult male, black hair, long sleeve. I'm going to go for you, Rangi. Oh, and it feels so good to actually be able to arrest somebody again. I still don't know if it's right, but at least I've been able to issue an APB. Finally, that part of my game is working. Okay, cross your fingers, cross your toes, cross your hands. We're working again. We're, we're live and kicking. And he didn't come back with me. So I can't interrogate <laughs> Game, why do you do this to me? Why do you do this to me? Why do you show me so much hate when all I show you is love? Where is your suspect, Robin? How did you lose him? Did you guys get a bus back and he got off at the different stop to you? How have you lost him between here and there? I don't understand what you've done. I don't understand what you've done. I don't, I don't, I don't, I can't, no. Is he really gonna make me arrest him twice? Do you just enjoy doing this? Do you like being arrested in public? What am I partaking in right now? I don't know. Oh my gosh, I finally have him. Not such a smooth criminal now, are you? Well, he is kind of a low-key hot criminal. And oh. No, no, I finally got him in and my work day ends. How? Oh, this game, I swear, it just wants to annoy me. It is not wishing me a happy new year. I'm not getting that vibe from it whatsoever. Okay. Oh, it's Luke's birthday too. My senses are excited. Well, that's lovely. Mine are dulled and sad because I've spent all day chasing the same man around town. And we've got no power to the house. Okay, Luke, you sort out the power. I will organize the birthday party and then I will cook us a cake. We'll do a zombie cake because it's green and it's zombies. You actually got three birthdays. We're gonna have three birthdays. Okay, we invite around all the usual suspects. And no, we're doing it here. We're not going to a museum. And what just a muggy, rubbish day it is. Like, it's neither here nor there. There's no sunset. There is, but it's behind a cloud. And it's just a bit gray and meh. Oh, Lily, what lifestyle? You've unlocked the people person lifestyle. You are my 17 millionth sim to do that. So huge congrats. Well done. Everyone's people person in this house. Amy's here. Oh my gosh, me and Amy in matching outfits. Vibe. She's off to go check out the downstairs oh, thing. We've also got Kai here as well, going straight in to see little sis. Kai, how oh, you've really dressed up for this occasion. Bless your little cotton socks. What are your eyes doing? I don't know. And wait a minute. Jaden, aren't you older than my kids? Shouldn't you be already aged up, my child? Oh, is it because I aged up my babies earlier? I think it is. No, you should be aged up. Okay. I can't make you blow out the candles, I don't think. But we should age up Jaden first, shouldn't we? So, commands. Set age. We're going to turn you into a child. No? You're just not going to do that? 
Are you gonna... No? Where are you going? What's happening? Oh, there you go. Okay, you're aging up into a child. Perfect. So I will nip in the cast and have a nose at you. Your hair has really gone light now. And why have you just suddenly gone to go research a plant? Please resume the zombie cake. Hello. Oh my gosh. Why do cakes always bug out on me? This always happens to me. Cakes just bug out every time. This has been a stressful episode so far. Okay, right now you're doing the cake. Great. Where's Jaden? I need to throw some cast on him. Oh, Jaden. Okay, I don't mean to scare anyone, but I've I've fully lost this child. <laughs> I've lost this whole child. Where has he gone? And Lilia's child. What? What have you just done, Lily? Have you just tried to? Have you just tried to quit school? What is happening? No, you're still at independent school. Why have you tried to apply to a different school? You age up in two days. What is she doing? I do not understand. Let's go ahead and check out Jaden real quick. Okay, he's aged up with the whiz kid trait. Okay, little brainiac. And also he's creative. Interesting. He also aged up with fully blonde hair. We said that his hair was going to lighten as he got older. I didn't expect it to go blonde this soon, but... If the game is kind of for him having blonde hair, I'm not going to stop that. I'm going to allow it. Okay, so this is older Jaden. I have given him... Oh, I've done it all the wrong layer. Oh my gosh. I gave him lighter hair because he aged up with that. Not quite to the same extent as the game though. But yeah, maybe his mum dyes her hair. I don't know. But this is child version of Jaden. Their profile picture's never loaded in, by the way. My game is gonna have a cry. But now that he is aged up and immediately taken off his CCIs, so thanks for that, kiddo, we can go ahead and do our zombie cake. And when you do a zombie cake, it puts a candle in each of the zombie's eyes, which is kind of disturbing. Also, some of his Teeth and then somebody's forehead. But we are gonna go ahead and age up the googie eggs. Oh no, we're off to go play on the PC. Okay, great. Help blow out candles for Forrest. Forrest is gonna age up first because Forrest is the old twin. He was born first because if you guys remember, we were all hyped being like, oh my gosh, yay, we've got a boy. I was kind of hoping for a boy. La 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 la. And then kapow, along came little Briar. Although I'm actually really enjoying playing as Briar. She ran away last episode and I don't know, I kind of like that about her. So she's kind of a loose cannon. She's kind of a card. Who is on there? What? How did you get up there? Why are you on the fridge? How is my toddler on the fridge? How has this even happened? How are you there? I'm like, why is she just dead staring at the fridge? And then I notice the feet. Forrest, get down. What is... Uh, you've dyed your hair blonde as well? Will you just copy everything that... What is that other child called? Jaden? Will you just copy everything Jaden does? How do I get this child down? Oh my gosh, he's fully stuck up there. I don't know how to get him down. I, I, do you like my voice? I'm not listening to you. I'm trying to get my kid off... The fridge! Can you teleport your way down? Oh my gosh, finally, there we go. Well, that was certainly a whole moment. How have so many things gone wrong? I don't understand. The detective career, broken. Cass, never loads the pictures. Toddler, on the fridge. Like, this is stress. She's also refusing to help him blow out the candles. She's like, if you're not even gonna stand on the floor, you're not getting any cake which I can kind of understand. She's just straight up ignoring me, isn't she? Stop singing in the shower and sing happy birthday out here. Ah! It says a lot when Kai is being the least annoying one here. And he's an evil sim. So, yeah. And what is this tiny step you're doing? Where did you pick up this bow tie outfit from? I don't understand what's happening right now. I don't understand what's happening right now. But the candles are blown out. Right, immediately throw some more on because I ain't cooking another cake. Quick, if I can't get... Candles on this cake in two seconds. I swear. This is stress. Right. What traits do I need to give this fridge child? Squeamish, geek, and cheerful. Okay, so I am gonna do what I did before, which is where I give them both both toddlers a different trait to each other. Both twins, so that they age up a little bit differently. And I'm kind of feeling like I'm gonna give the geek trait to Briar first because her skills were higher as a toddler and forest was a fussy child okay if you were a fussy child i was gonna give you cheerful but uh, a fussy toddler i actually think squeamish flows on really well from being fussy like those two go together quite well and both of you are gonna have to be bright little googie eggs so i'm gonna give you both the same mental whiz kid so both you Jaden, and briar are all gonna be whiz kids is this gonna be the next episode of smart squad is this the new iteration of smart squad maybe so you got straight ones 
arms. Okay, brilliant. I'm gonna put both of your CCs on at the same time. So here, let's just have a look at how you look before we put any CC on. Adorable, actually. Very adorable. I'm trying to like see if I can see any coral in him. And then let's also help blow out Candle's briar as well. For Luke, this is all really boring. You know, birthdays and aging up of his children. Boring. That's so lame. You know what's really cool? Sim City. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and do Briar. So, Briar, you're going to be a whiz kid geek. Oh, you got more celebrations, Briar. Games playing favorites a bit here, but I guess you didn't try and go on the fridge. So, at this point in time, you're also my favorite because you are not fridge child. And there we go. Briar has aged up too, so... Let's go ahead and apply the geek and whiz kid trait. You got one, 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 two. You're a little bit more creative, so that's interesting. And... <laughs> You also aged up with a little a little heart on your head as well. Very, very cute. Okay, we're going to take both of them into cast and have a little nosy at how they look. And I've got little pictures of them in their toddler form to help me make sure that we're making them with the same skin details. So let's go ahead and do Forest first. Now, it's given him straight hair, but um, we are giving him a curl. I might keep his hair because I love his toddler hair so much, but he has a curl that's not as tight as Briar's. Briar has like like a very afro texture hair whereas forest is still a tight curl but not as tight and he had very soft eyebrows as a child i'm gonna keep them fairly soft we'll give him his did we say this was the peach eye instead i think we said that was the peach eye because it's less intense he uses the goo goo gaga skin because he's got two moles on his cheek so i want to keep those that was the hairline and i'm looking to see how different curly hairs like adopt the green that he's supposed to have in it i've kind of gone for more of a turquoisey green just because actually it's my favorite color we could also go for like a braided style on him this looks really cute oh and i'm on party again i've got to stop doing that or you could do something like that if you're using like max as much hair or i could do something like that i can't see the hair that he had as a child which is literally breaking my heart because I love his hair. Like, look at that. It's beautiful. I don't have it for children. I only have it for toddlers. And that just doesn't, it doesn't look right here. I could forgive everything else, but not that bit. Okay, I'm going to try and find the hair that he had. I'm going to keep this one on him for now, but I will try and find this. I can't give him like a green streak in this hair, which really sucks because I would love to give him his green streak back because it was so freaking cute. And then I'm going to keep his kind of relaxed style. I want to try and get something with like a green fit to it to make him match his green part, the not so berry. I like the flannel. I'm a big flannel fan. And I like, I actually think though this like simpler kind of matches more like how he dresses his toddler with his little jumper. I think that's very cute. So there we go. I've given him some little green shoes and he's just got a very adorable casual kind of style. Your eyes have changed. How has that happened? Okay, that's better. Okay. So there is a little forest. And then for Briar, we're going to be putting these skin details back on. And oh my gosh, it really changed her hair. <laughs> Don't think I'll be following that. Okay, I'm looking through styles for her with the same texture, but I obviously need the green in there. So I'm going to see if any of these hairs play nice. Because I can't change the color on these hairs. They only come as one color. Ooh, I've changed this, changed the color of her eye. That's pretty. I love that. That is a simpliciati hair. Okay, that's one option. I also have this and this option too. Also this one and this one. And then these are the hairs that I was using on her when she was a toddler, which actually are so pretty and they look really nice. You can change the color of their scarf on the head as well. And these ones where you drag it, I'm not going to put this hair on. I just want to show you. I don't get the bar. They don't work for me. Okay, since she had this hair as a child... A toddler, I need to stop doing that. Since she had this hair as a toddler, I'm gonna go for this now because it's almost the exact same style. It's just like parted slightly differently. Her eyes are changed again. So let's change those back. And then I really liked her little like pinafore type thing when she was a toddler. So I'm kind of tempted to, although that looks cute too. No, I love the pinafore. I'm sorry, it's so cute. I'm gonna keep that on her. I'm gonna go for like maybe this kind of a look. I don't know. I think that's kind of cute. I can't find any shoes that go with the socks, but I kind of think maybe a little brown sort of shoes. And her eyes have changed color again. Why are they purple? Why do you have ultraviolet eyes? Like, it looks really cool, but like a bit unnecessary. Okay, there we go. Back to peachy eyes. And there is little Briar. So let me know what you guys think of her as well. And I will definitely try and sort out Forrest's hair because, uh, I have you changed your eyes too? 
Oh my gosh, children, you've got to stop playing this prank on me. Please just keep your eyes peach. Just leave them there, okay? Stop changing your eye colors. I swear. I... I'm being bullied. I am being bullied by my game. My game is fully bullying me right now. Like, you guys see this, right? You guys see this. Okay, your eyes are both peach. Perfect. Done. And we're in game. Okay, so that is how Jaden and his lion eyes look because he changed them. Forrest is straight on the video games. Like, I literally come back to the game and he's already taken after his father with a bit of Sim City. Someone is a gamer. He's a gamer. And I actually need a gamer for the next gen. So that is very interesting. And then we've also got Briar. Oh my gosh, is she a gamer too? She's a gamer too! She's playing Sims Medieval. Okay. Literally, both of them are like, pick me, pick me. I want to be next gen. I'm a gamer too. I don't know which one of you I'm going to pick yet. We need to learn a little bit more about you both. But it's kind of hilarious that I rejoined the game and both of them are gamers. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, though, it is 1 a.m. though. So, Amy, can you and your pumpkin please leave the room? And we'll do a full bedroom renovation next episode. But for now, I'm just at least going to give them beds to sleep in. And before I finish, I just got to know. I just got to know if he's guilty. I've got to know. I feel like if he's not guilty, that is just going to like literally sum up my experience with this entire episode. The suspect appears to be innocent and can be released. Well, if that doesn't just sum up this entire episode for us, I don't know what will, guys. So, police career, nightmare, birthday party, fridge nightmare, cuss, eye nightmare. What other nightmares happened? I swear something else nightmarish happened. I don't know, but today was a nightmare episode. However, we do now have Child Forest and Child Briar to play with, which I'm excited about because I feel like they're going to start becoming their own little people. We will also have Lily, who will be one day until aging up. She's going to be a young adult. Do I send her to uni? Do I let make her leave the household? Or do I make a study from the household? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in a new video. Happy New Year. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.